Hi everybody, I'm Lilita and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a what would Lilita do? So in today's video, I'm going to be taking situations that you guys sent to me on Instagram using an NGL anonymous link. I just love using NGL anonymous links because it's anonymous, number one. So I don't know who it is. I just know your business. Do you get me? Do you get me? I'm going to be looking at the situations on my iPad. So if I look down or anything, it's just because I'm looking at my iPad. First situation. What would you do if you are in a situation where your marks are dropping and you don't know what to do about it? So first thing I would do is self-reflect. Like, are you okay mentally, emotionally, physically? Like, are you 100% in all those sectors? Are you happy, you know? You don't have anxiety, there's no depression in your life. You know, are you fresh, ready to challenge the books, ready to challenge school, you know? And if something is lacking in those departments, then you have to sort it out before you sort out your books. Now, I'm not saying neglect school, bank classes, don't do your homework. I'm just saying you have to make sure you are okay mentally. You have to make sure you're okay physically. You have to make sure that everything that would let you be able to do good in school is working you can't be a naturally smart kid you know those naturally smart kids yeah you can be natural smart but it's high school baby it's high school okay naturally smart is not gonna get you those good grades you were getting before so you really have to make sure that um you're studying and just not saying oh well doing cursa so i don't have to study for cursa or i know two plus two equals four so i don't have to study for maths no guys definitely have to study if you're doing all of that i promise you your marks are going to rise again situation two so people read my diary without me knowing and i wrote bad things about people in it and they decided they were going to add yourself in paper to what i said and then everyone hated me reading someone's diary is one thing but going off and telling what was in the diary is another thing. First thing I'm going to say is that please don't make this your fault, okay? Everyone does not like everyone, okay? I have people I don't like, there's people that don't like me. Shop, cool, cool, yo, 100%, okay? It's normal, we're human, not everyone is, is our cup of tea. If you wrote these bad things about people, there's probably something they did to you. Because knowing you can wake up in the morning and say, yeah, I don't like this child, irritate me, yo. Yeah, like I don't like being around them. Okay, that's not normal. Maybe these people did something to you or they annoyed you, whatever. So you wrote bad things about them. Okay, cool. You know, it was your diary, it was your place to vent. I mean, these negative thoughts about other people, you don't want them in your brain. You vented it in your diary. People came, saw what she wrote, went with what she wrote, added paprika, they added aromats, added barbecue, they added everything, okay? They kept on adding and then they told people their version of what she wrote in your diary was. So please don't blame yourself. But what would Elita do in that situation? I would not care. If you let that those people's hate get to you, they their hate will consume you. But if you like, I don't care. Like I'm still me, you know, then the hate will consume them. If you show that you don't care, the hate will consume them. But I need you to do is to not care. I mean yes. If a lot of people hate you, it can be very overwhelming. But I'm sure one person is still your friend, you know, still cares for you and still loves you. So don't worry too much about people hating you, you know. It's gonna consume them and it's not gonna consume you. Situation three. What would you do if you were in a situation where you had to pick between your boyfriend, you guys have been dating for one year, or your boy best friend, you guys have been friends since you were five. Another insane, you guys near your pillar in life, me now. Whoa, like they're throwing hands, hey. You guys' situations are throwing hands. I would first look at who is giving you this ultimatum. So if the boy best friend is giving you the ultimatum, I wouldn't say drop him because you guys have been friends since you were five. And I don't know how old you are now, but I'm guessing, you know, 14, 15, which is a long time, you know, to be friends with someone. So I wouldn't immediately drop him, you know, because he's been there since, for me, since I was five. Now, if it was the boyfriend, I would be like, Bella, this boy has been there for me since I was five, you know, we grew up together. We have been dating for a year, you know, 
relationships end are you the boy i'm gonna marry so automatically my brain goes to the boyfriend because i'm just like dating for a year are you the boyfriend i'm going to marry would i drop someone i have been friends with since i was five for someone i'm not gonna marry you really have to think about that girl you really have to use your brain in the window and think about that i really had to pick life or death really had to pick i would choose the boy best friend dude i would choose the boy best friend situation four another um, boy situation what would you do if you were to find out that guy you've been talking to seriously has a whole girlfriend okay so the the situation was worded wrong so i get that she was talking to this guy meanwhile this guy has a whole girlfriend which is crazy so what i would do i'm um, in the situation is really just get over it like i know these this advice or whatever might be so straightforward like Lita, you're not helping and then oh you're hurting my feelings honey i'm being real you need to get over it they're gonna manipulate you they're gonna do whatever they want they're gonna cheat on you they're gonna you know leave you for other people you need to get over it that thing is gonna consume you when it should be consuming them when talking to this girl leading her on this whole time i have a girlfriend so i've been cheating on my girlfriend as well as leading another girl on that has to consume him and not you babes it has to consume him and not you so definitely definitely get over it there are so many fish in the sea honey it is a good one out there and you're gonna find him definitely get over it stop the whole my word was not good enough like why didn't he leave the girlfriend for me what not get over it but yeah definitely don't let it consume you um nothing should consume you if it's not your fault situation five say you have been friends with someone for years since primary i'm now in grade 12. now you feel like you have outgrown that person and you want to let go of the friendship what would lita do very very simple you're in grade 12 right you're in grade 12. you were in my trick what a busy busy year you shouldn't be focusing on friends that you feel like are outgrowing and you got to hurt person's you know feelings you need to tell her that hey um i know it's been a long long friendship but i've outgrown this friendship you know it's totally okay to say that you never feel bad that you've outgrown a friendship but thing happens for a reason that there's a reason why the stars align the way they do okay everything happens for a reason so don't ever feel bad your heart feels a certain way you have a certain feeling don't feel bad for that don't feel bad for that you're gonna move on to university you guys are probably gonna go different paths and even if you guys go to the same university even if you guys do the same course even if you guys have the same classes the chances of you guys still being friends and that happening we guys go to the same school stay same everything it's so so low it's so low i would actually say two percent honestly it's so low there's a 98 percent chance that you guys are not gonna know each other you guys are gonna go different paths and in 10 years you guys are gonna have got gotten each other so oh my word my word yeah, she's gonna have to accept it you have to choose yourself situation six you're stuck in an elevator okay so nowadays elevators have a number where like you call if you're stuck or like you're trapped or whatever um but back in the day if i was stuck in the elevator sana hi 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 i would definitely pray yo i would pray i would pray to the man that created me to the man that gave me life i would pray you know, people are going to realize this elevator is not working and fix it you know um and maybe people will hear my screams and they're walking past the elevator and I'm, i remember some from school told me that like they were stuck in the elevator and they had to eat and they just went grocery shopping so they just had to eat the groceries they just bought so now, i don't think she got stuck in the elevator but that's an interesting situation i probably didn't just get done buying groceries so feed wise i would be in a problem here situation seven getting chased by a wild animal if i was getting chased by a wild animal i'll ask myself how did i get here how did i get there i would never get chased by a wild animal wild animal mm -mm. never me never that what did i do to get chased by a wild animal did i provoke it did i jump out like the the land rover when i was going on a game drive did i go to the bush and look for an animal to come fetch me like what that's crazy 
what did i do to get in that situation what would lita do now that she's in that situation i probably did something dumb to be in that situation so i just have to accept my fate and just deal with the consequences deal with the consequences because i swear and everything i probably did something so dumb to get chased by a wild animal guys not a dog not a cat hey not a pit bull not a sausage dog hey not a german shepherd a wild animal we're talking about lions cheetahs elephants yo i probably did something very dumb just suffer the consequences and deal with the injuries situation eight would i rather have infinite money or infinite food infinity wow that's a lot so i love helping people i really do love helping people so the infinite food honestly i could help so many people but the infinite money could buy the food but let's say you can't use the infinite money to buy the infinite food i'll choose infinite food like i i'm already living a comfortable life what other money do i need an infinite food i would have to start buying groceries which would save a whole lot of money so anything that i really wanted i'll probably be able to get because groceries are expensive guys i would definitely have to choose the infinite food people are starving people are hungry there are hungry people in my continent there are hungry people in the world many people so i would just have to choose infinite food infinite money you like but no if i got the outfit right now infinite food for real loud i hope you guys really enjoyed this video tell me if i should make a part two here are the analytics guys here are the analytics you guys are watching my videos and you subscribe hmm, subscribe because i know you guys are gonna come back you know you're gonna come back you know you're gonna want some more so just subscribe don't forget to like subscribe comment share and do all this good stuff please follow me on my ig at elita.malusi and see you in my next one bye